Welcome to North Witham Airfield, now known as Twyford Woods, which is just near Colsterworth. Difficult to believe that this was once a major airfield during the Second World War and crucial to the D-Day landings. Now very much overgrown, its runways still echo with memories of bravery and sacrifice. You can imagine aircraft thundering into the skies and see what's left of the old control tower. On June the 5th, 1944, the eve of D-Day, 20 Dakota C-47 aircraft took off at nightfall from this airfield. They were part of the United States 9th Troop Carrier Command. On board were American combat paratroopers of 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions, heading behind enemy lines to place beacons for the main Airborne Division. D-Day was effectively underway the moment the wheels of the first C-47 left here. The stories are unforgettable, like the mystery of the mid-air Liberator collision that destroyed Lazy Lou, seven combat decorated veterans and the pilot's dog, a canine forces pinup called Major Jerry. Well, um, the, the group obtained the war diaries from America and there was mention of the crash um, on the 18th of December 44 and there was a list of the crew members that were on each aircraft and one of them was Major Jerry, no surname and no uh, army serial number um, and we wondered uh, what was the relevance and we found out later that it turned out to be, a, be the dog, the mascot of the pilot. He flew um, with them in Sicily and he'd got about 1,200 flying hours with his pilot. And I got this call from Box and Heath Aerodrome to go to a dog. You could cut the gloom with a knife. And all I was told was there'd been a serious accident, there were very eminent uh, pilots had been killed, and his dog man. And uh, there was this Dalmatian, and uh, I realised then that the chances of recovery were pretty slim. But on the other hand, to have suggested putting him to sleep in the atmosphere prevailing on the aerodrome at the time wouldn't have been very well received. So I did everything I could for the dog to relieve him of his discomfort. Airman, whatever he was, who was looking after the dog, showed me this book of press cuttings, which was about this thickness. The dog was a national celebrity in America. Uh, Major Jerry, there he was, not only press pictures of him with his uh, parachute and, uh, and, and uh, the place, a photograph of where he sat between the pilots and co-pilots and the plane. One of the unique aspects of Lincolnshire's heritage is its aviation heritage that covers the whole of the county. But here within the South Stephen area, it was very much uh, Little America 70 years ago. Uh, one in four of the Americans who were dropped uh, uh, on D-Day took off from airfields here in this part of Lincolnshire. Our airfields around Grantham, hummed with Allied airborne activity, commemorated in our heritage of flight publications and our 9th Air Force Trail. But please, don't take my word for it. Come and see it for yourself. <laughs>